So, welcome to something a little different. I'm going to be calling Off Geek, a series for me to talk about, well, anything that isn't explicitly geeky, if you will. And to kick things off, I'm going to be talking about dating apps, or more specifically, my experience with dating apps. If you are only here for my opinion, then in short, f come. <clears throat> now, you'll probably want a more flushed out answer, but that's fair. In general, dating apps now feel kind of like DC movies. You've got the one or two you might like, but in the end, they're going to leave you disappointed with a vaguely empty feeling inside. And I personally have been using four dating apps for around uh, a year now, and in all that time, I've yet to get one date. Hell, I've only had a handful of meaningful conversations, and even they would stop responding randomly. I assume because they or their phone slipped into the ethereal void. And it's not like I'm in the middle of Bumsville, Montana. I'm in a college town. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm well aware that guys on Tinder and other dating apps are a lot less likely to get matches and in turn, dates. I even tested this by creating a fake profile for a face swap I did with my friend. <coughs> yeah, this thing, this thing got more matches in the first 30 minutes than I had in the previous three months. As time has gone on and in my solitude, I've come up with some theories as to my lack of tangible success in the dating app world. Primarily, I think the answer is my face. And that's not to get some pity points, I think it's literally my face, because I am very conscious of the fact that wherever I may fall on the attractive spectrum for someone, it's most certainly going to be on the cute end rather than the hot or sexy region. I accept that, and I know it's due largely thanks to my baby face. Which leads us to why dating apps don't work for me. Because guys, we've all had the situation where you're browsing Tinder and you come across this cute girl who has more filters on her photo than books she's read, and it says she's 19. Awesome. But then you glance down at the description ever so slightly, and it says, Oops, I'm actually 15. I don't know why it says 19. And we all know what happens next. Your finger is swiping left closer to the speed of light than anything out of Elon Musk's wet dream. See, I feel like that, at least to an extent, is happening with me. Here, I'll throw up the most recent picture I have of myself, okay? Take a second, and if you didn't know any better based on the subject of this video, what would you honestly think my age is? Okay, time's up. I am, at the time of recording this, 22 years of age. Now, comment down below and be honest. How close were you? I just feel like I'm painted into a corner. I can't outright say I'm actually 22 because that would probably just sound desperate and make people think it's a lie, like, oh, he's trying to pretend to be older, of course. But then I just have to trust that they'll take my profile at baby face value. The struggle never ends. It's been an annoyance even outside the dating world. Most recently this summer, not when I was at a bar or anything, but a flight attendant I had asked me if I was old enough to sit in the exit row. Now, uh, fun fact for anyone who doesn't know, but you have to be at least 15 years old to sit in the exit row of a plane. 15! Anyways, this is just evolving into a rant about my youthful appearance. I don't have much more to say, and I'm not upset about being single. Just my thoughts on dating apps and why they don't work for me. Thanks everyone for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this first episode of Off Geek. What's your opinion on dating apps? Let me know. Both Off and On Geek ideas can be submitted down below or sent to me on Twitter. See you guys later.